What's up everybody, my name is Mike, and in the southern part of Mount Hydra, you will find a level 85 raid called Firelands, where you can farm two mounts, one flying and one normal. They drop on both 10 and 25 normal and heroic, so I recommend just doing it on 10 man normal, it just saves you some time, maybe some repair bills, a little bit quicker, so it's up to you. But I just want to, I'm so mad right now, I've done, this is the fourth time I'm doing this commentary. The first time, my phone was, wasn't on silence, so someone called me and someone texted me. Second time, I kept hitting my pop filter. Third time, I don't even remember, or third, yeah, third time, my mom came down eight minutes in to tell me something, and I was just like, really? Really? This isn't, this is bullshit. I'm, if I, if I can't do this commentary this time, I'm literally gonna kill myself. But, uh, anyway, you, you don't have to kill these bosses in any specific order, this is just the way I do it, it's up to you. Like I said, it doesn't matter. But I just found this is the kind of the easiest, the quickest, and the most efficient way to do it. Now, as you can see, on my way to the first boss, I'm killing any big packs of mobs because you have to kill a certain amount. I don't know the exact number, but you have to kill a certain amount to spawn Shannox. And periodically on your screen, you'll see something about a horn and it like draws or more urgently or something like that. And that just means you're getting closer to spawning Shannox. But the route I'm taking, the people I'm killing, it will spawn Shannox before you even get to the first boss to kill. So. It's up to you. Uh, people used to have to kill the stuff at the start to kind of make room for Shannox. It was like a big fight. You had to kite a lot, and there was like a lot of outgoing, like, people throw shit way off in the distance. You have to go run to it. But uh, now, don't really worry about it. Just kill whatever and kill him wherever. Um, and when you do kill him, you'll see it. Once I kill the next pack, he will, in chat, yell something out, and that's when you know you're good to go. So as you see there, he yells it, and you can actually see him coming out of the room right there. I'm targeting him. So once you do that, you're good to go. Moving on to this boss here, to start it off, you're going to kill... Well, this isn't the boss, it's just adds before it. Uh, these egg piles, they spawn little babies, so make sure you kill them. Because otherwise they'll just keep spawning and it's annoying. Watch out for the fire, little circles of fire behind you. It's, uh, you see it right now. Don't stand in those. Those do actually a lot of damage, and they are from the birds here that I'm killing. Which you can actually mount. You actually used to use these, you used to use these birds to kill the eggs and help out with the raid to kill things. But now you don't really have to worry about it. Um, and once you kill them, you're gonna go over here to Major Domo. I have to cough really bad, and I don't want to. I don't want to do it. You're gonna go over to Major Domo. You're gonna you're gonna hit him, and he's gonna come over here and root you for like 20 seconds, do some RP, and then Elisazor comes out of the ground. It's really cool and heroic looking. And once she's uh, near you, and you can attack her, highly recommend popping all your cooldowns and just going ham on her, because I think it's the easiest time to do so. And as you can see, she's dropping uh, nine feathers on the ground. You have to collect three to start flying. And now when you're in the air, it's Let's just kill her, but she spawns, as you can see there, that, that fire circle, and I don't remember if it's good or bad. I think I went through one of them, yeah, this, or the next one, to see if it was either a speed boost or if it was, a like, a bad thing it did damage. I didn't notice anything. I really do forget, but I don't, you don't need to go through that at all, even if it is a buff, so don't worry about it, and, um... So this is the first boss of the Cesaro drops, the first mount, which is a 2% drop rate according to Wowhead. And it's actually a really cool mount. It's just the it's the Raven Lord from Sethic Halls, but just all fire. It looks it looks really, really cool. And when you're going up this hill, don't stop. Just keep going up until you get this guy starts that guy right there starts running away because uh, they'll just keep spawning. And uh Alyssazor is actually a common mount for me. I think I've seen it drop three times. First time it was like Master Looter, the second time I lost the roll, the third time I lost the roll to my brother, and actually I actually have a video on my channel. He rolled 99, I rolled 98, that was a bus kill. For Lord Rhino Deck over here, he has two legs, only attack one of them. I sometimes do a whirlwind where my legendary cloak does some damage, but as long as the majority of your damage is being output onto one leg, you'll be fine. And what he does is just keeps rotating in a circle. If he goes into the lava on the outside there, it might one-shot you. I know that's what it used to do. I'm not sure if it still still will. Also, the volcanoes there that are spawning, don't uh, don't specifically guide him towards those and lose DPS or whatever. But if he happens to go over those, it's actually a good thing because it decreases the amount of stacks his legs have, which makes you able to do more damage. And uh, if you attack just the right foot, you get uh, you get an achievement called like not not an ambi turn or something like that. And like 15 or something percent, he becomes this little fire dude who's like a one shot, really easy. So, there you go. Lord Rhino Dick, super, super easy. And if you notice that fade there, that's because I went to kill Shannox and I messed up. Because I forgot what to do. So Shannox patrols the entire road here, doesn't really, just goes all around the entire map there. Doesn't matter where you kill him, as long as you can just get to him. I prefer, if 
if you're not that great on DPS, I'd recommend not killing them where there's a lot of people, but that's up to you. Anyway, so to start off the fight, kill Rageface. Because what Rageface does, Ripplin, don't worry about him, he's a little bitch. Rageface, what he'll do is he will jump on you, like stunning you for something like 30 seconds or something. And in that time, he will destroy you. He will do so much damage to you in like 10 seconds that you will die. And I don't even know if you can break that with the with like a PvP trinket or something like that. Not sure, but if you can't break it, you're going to die. You're going to wipe. There's no way out of that. And then once you kill Rageface, just worry about uh, Shanox. He'll be fine. He does a little enrage when you kill his dog, Rageface, and that's just a little bit more damage. Not that big of a deal. And then go on to the next boss, Bethalak, who is a spider and looks pretty cool. Actually, on Bethalak, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this video. And by the way, these ads, don't worry about them. You can just skip through them. Just keep running to the uh, to the last pack there. But Bethalak, there's actually a face on her. when You'll see her when she's dangling down. If you look, there's a face. There's a person. There's a little mini-me there. And it, it looks really cool and really funny. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, that's hilarious. But uh, that dude with the shield, interrupt him or stun him or just kill him really fast so that shield goes away because I'm pretty sure it either makes people around him immune or makes him specifically immune or take a lot less damage. Don't remember, not that big a deal anymore since you pretty much one shot him nowadays anyway, so that's fine. Once you kill all these guys, as you saw everyone just kind of de would me and left, so there's the face. I don't know if you can see it, but the, but the red parts, the hair, it's just really funny. Anyway, so you're going to hit Bethlag, she skimmers up to the top of the web there, and on 10 mana she drops 2 spiders I think, and on 25 t or she drops 4. And the spiders you can either taunt down, then kill, or just kill if you're ranged right away. Once you kill them, they drop, the, you can go on the webs they were hanging down from, and that'll just right click it and that'll send you up here to Bethlag. When you get to Bethlag, pop all your cooldowns and kill her. Uh, the only thing to worry about here is the fire there, as you can see you don't stand in it, and to my left there is a hole that will send you back to the bottom. And at one health, she'll she'll come down here, and this is where you kill her. If you happen to fall down before she gets to one health, or you want to go back up because you fell or something like that, all you got to do is kill kill another spider, right-click the little web, and it'll send you back up. It's not that big of a deal if you fall down, so don't really worry about it. But uh, this actually, in my opinion, this is one of the best mount farming videos I've ever made because everything besides Shanox and what's coming up with the ads here was flawless like it was perfect everything worked out perfectly i had my routes just perfect and i don't know this was i don't know this was an ideal mount run for me but uh, what i was talking about with the ads is you actually skip these two packs of ads i only skipped one of them because as i was fighting these guys i was like i wonder if you can skip like if you can just pull the boss and these guys will aggro or not and uh, they didn't so if you can skip those guys just go for it if you have to kill one of them kill one of them and then kill the boss what the boss does is that purple thing right beside me is going to turn into a diamond as you see now and that diamond puts a stacking debuff onto you. I think it stacks up to 30. And uh, the more stacks you take, the more damage you're taking from that shirt specifically. So you're going to see my health get pretty low eventually. Uh, not, not dangerously low, it just gets pretty low. If you're not too well geared, this might be a little bit difficult for you. So make sure you have defensive cooldowns ready. I think I just had to pop Rally and Cry. Once you kill all those bosses, you will talk to that little flower and uh, a cinematic comes up in this bridge forms like 30 seconds and you can go across it now if you talk to that flower and um there is nothing you can press to spawn this bridge that means you didn't kill all the bosses i think that the first four bosses i think you missed them so you have to go back and kill them but if you can go over the bridge you're good to go because you only have two more bosses left those fire kitties they pounce on you and they do like six second or like 10 seconds stun actually so kind of annoying so try to kill them fast uh major domo here he, uh, pretty easy fight. Pretty much when his energy gets full, he will jump on you, Do it, which will do two things, as you're going to see here. He jumps, and that will spawn a clone of himself, which is very easily AoE down. I think I do Whirlwind once, and he dies. And the other thing, as you can see, it will spawn a Ring of Fire that you do not want to stand in, because it will probably kill you. Then there is another phase where it's like, if you have six people that are further away from him, or like right on him, I think. Yeah, if you have like four or five people... In his melee range, he will become a scorpion, but since you're doing a solo, don't worry, you can't, don't worry about it, but the scorpion would do something like a, I don't remember, and then you'd like everyone to spread out to do the kitty phase, and it was, this fight sucked. At least for me, because my guild, when I did this, was just stupid, so no one understood this fight, you know, so easy, but it was hard for them to comprehend. This guy, if you don't kill him fast enough, what he's going to do is he's going to spawn like a whole bunch of lava on the floor. And there's like an inch of room that you can stand on to not die. So, make sure you do that. 
but if you if you kill him fast enough, you don't have to worry about it. These two worms on this on the left and right here, watch your feet because if if you take a little bit too long to kill them, they'll like spawn a red circle under you, under you. I think it's red, and uh, if you if it explodes on you, it'll send you into lava and kill you, and that's just annoying. But here we go, Ragnaros. Pretty easy fight, so you just start off. I think every 33% he does the hammer phase, which I will talk about in a second. You can just go ham sandwich right away. And as you can see there, that, that thing right there is an indication of the hammer phase. Uh, it spawns, I think, 9 adds from the beams of light. And those 9 adds, the less health they have, the slower they go. And when they get to the hammer... It used to one shot, or at least like two shot, like it, they bring you down like 75% health, but now it doesn't do that much damage. But uh, when you get to the hammer, it does like a raid wide AoE. So you just want to kill them fast. And uh, it, if, if you're killing Ragnaros fast enough as I am, you're going to just get to the hammer phase right again, right away after you do the first one, or you might have only have to do one. The second hammer, hammer phase, a lava scion spawn, which is an extra add to deal with. Yeah, just kill, kill all that stuff and. Like kill the ones that spawn under the adds that spawn under the light and then just kill Ragnaros and that's pretty much it. This mount is a 1.2% drop rate that drops from Ragnaros. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was uh, a good video for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Have a great day. See ya.